What's going on, fellas? We're shaking. So, we are five days away. And of course, you've seen the title, so you obviously know what we're <laughs> talking about. This will be uh, basically a predictions, uh, wants. Um, yeah, some of these things aren't really predictions for me. They're just stuff I want to see in the movie, not necessarily will get. Yeah, like, like we'll say stuff that, uh, for example, I don't think it'll happen but I want it to happen, or I think this will happen, but I want it to happen. So, like, this list might kind of be all over the place. But we ha we know nothing it's about not it. It's not even in a particular order. Like, my list is kind of all over the place as it is. It's not very long, but it is kind of... It jumps. And we know <laughs> nothing about Infinity War as of, like, the three trail main trailers we've seen. The two main ones and the Super Bowl. One. And I, I got a couple things spoiled on Instagram, but it was stuff in scenes that don't matter. So it's like... It, it's not like anything big was spoiled, just just little punchlines, and sometimes the punchline is what makes the scene, but... So, yeah, so if you're all caught up with the MCU, don't worry about spoilers, but if you haven't seen and everything, yeah, up any, any, yeah, anything up to Black Panther... anything up to Black Panther... There'll be possible spoilers in this video. Yeah. So, let's get into the first thing I want. I really, really think that there's three choices, that the Soul Stone could be, A, the most common one with Heimdall, the, uh, and that's I, like the I, H. I gotta say, I like the Howard Stark one, but I don't. Think and like, it it's is. gotta be like an it. H, right? So he had a. Uh, okay, wait. Blah, blah, blah. The next one is the heart of Wakanda, or the herb of Wakanda. The heart or herb, and the reason why this works for me is, and I didn't even know you were gonna say that, but after just watching Captain America: The First Avenger again. Red Skull says something in the movie about a superior being coming to the earth for something what's inside of it and this makes him wanting to be the superior being and it it makes you wonder is is that the soul stone maybe like were they really planning it this fucking far back and that's like, these are the three uh, most these are, if any of this is going to happen it's going to be these three ones and this third one this is what I hope and think is going to happen it's with him it, it, it by rights should be with him. Like and if you don't know him. who him is, James Gunn said that he's not going to be in either Infinity War movies. He's going to come Volume 3. Volume 3 of Guardians but of the Kevin Galaxy. Kevin Feige said he's going to wrap up everything that they've been mm. dragging and leading us to. And this was... <laughs> this is the, It was straight up teased like, in Guardians yeah. 2. And if you don't know him, if you don't know him is... It's Adam Warlock. That's what that was his name he's, when Stan Lee was he's doing. He's basically it. the like the protector of mainly the Soul Stone, but almost all the stones. Oh well, like, he's spoiler alert. Even if you haven't read the the comic, he's the one who ends up with the Infinity Gauntlet at yeah, the end. He, he's the one who snags it from Thanos in the end and reverses everything. So and that creates a whole nother like crazy events which they can do but like they're gonna try and stick to this to Thanos so maybe Adam Warlock might not pop up till the end of this one and be more so focused in the next one like I'm not that would that would be cool maybe all this stuff goes on and then this movie ends with him waking up be or something like cause I, I believe that's how it happens in the comics once like like he gets awoken from Thanos assembling the gauntlet I believe isn't it something that Something it's like something that. like that. And yeah, I've only even, read it once. He even comes from the Soul Stone himself. So like, yeah, like I'm curious how that's gonna. How be. it's all they, gonna work? They made work. it seem like they're creating him, not necessarily he's already. And it's it, it would be a good turn because like they're making it seem like Vision is Adam Warlock, like with the stone in his head and everything. But I'm no, telling like, you, when man, when like, I first seen Age of Ultron, I thought for sure they were replacing Adam Warlock with Vision, and now I, I don't think that at all. No, I'm telling you, whenever we got that post credit scene at the end of Guardians Two, I I, I was like. <gasps> Before we get on to anything else, and we're, while we're on the topic of the Soul Stone, one of the things I want from the movies, I, I want to actually see inside the Soul Stone. Like, I've seen inside of it in some graphic novels and some comics, and, like, it's basically, like, every other version of the characters are in here. Like, you like you could, you could send Tom Holland Spider-Man into the Soul Stone. He could see Tobey Maguire in there. Like, he could see other versions of himself in there, and it would be a cool way to kind of... It's kind of like the mult. The Soul Stone is like the multiverse is heaven in a way. Like everyone who dies goes into the stone. That actually makes sense, and I I'd like to see like actually inside 
all of the stones and see if, like if what you could you... get inside all the stones uh, and that that seems like an ant man and the wasp maybe like Possibly, for, for some yeah. of them but like the soul stone like that's its whole universe and anyone who's ever died is in there so like all these characters that we've lost in the mcu to this day are in there it's... could potentially be brought back from the soul stone if needed to or if thanos wanted to or if maybe maybe the heroes are like we need more help and they even go back and save the bad guys that they defeated because they it's this or nothing basically you know what i mean next thing we'll talk about is i really think that we are going to see um the celestials in this movie i think they're gonna have a big uh they're gonna play a big part in what than like thanos's quest or whatever i i I could see the Celestials playing a big part towards the end and maybe a bigger part in the next film, but that's that's why I'm kind of torn, like, because some of these things I'm saying, I don't necessarily think that we might see in this one, but overall, like you were saying, like, yes, it's, not, it's this, almost like it's a two-parter, but we're looking at it as, like, one big, long, six-hour movie. So we're getting, our, per we're getting movie. our predictions out now because, like, anything can happen. In this well, like, movie. We, like they released the picture, which, <laughs> spoiler, um, it just shows Thanos getting ready to throw the moon or whatever. Like, it's not actually him throwing it or nothing, but if that's happening in this movie, and there's supposed to be even crazier stuff that happens in the movie, I literally don't See, really don't know you... what's going to happen in this movie. Like, Ex yes. Especially where this is called Infinity War, and technically the story starts in Infinity Gauntlet with the graphic novels, so it's like... I, I don't fully know what to expect, which maybe that's it's better because mm -hmm. it'll make the movie better. And, but and speak and while we're talking about the Celestials, there's two things I'd like to see: the fact that mm. Ego thinks that he's the only Celestial. What if he's like just a baby? What if like he's just like basically nothing? Did, and did they establish what happened to that Celestial in Guardians Volume One? I think they did, but I can't I did, think I, right I, off the top of my head. It, but I didn't get up to that yet, and I just I I'm, I remember the video of him like destroying the world. But I'm yeah, curious, like where are the celestials? L yeah, but now? see, that's like, just it. That's uh, I think they have something to do with Thanos, and uh, in the comics, spoiler, they be cool if he was going around killing the celestials. They um, or they throw a bunch of planets at Thanos, and I think that would be a great way to do that in the movie. What if Ego is like, I'm one actually of, one of not the alone. Planets that they're throwing. And what? If, no, but I'd like to say like he's if Ego is like, oh, I'm actually not alone. And then the, the Celestials are like, you think you're a Celestial? And then they, they just take Ego and just drill him at, at Thanos. Yeah, I'd love that. And final thing involving the Celestials. We got a teaser of it in Ragnarok, how the Celestials, all the bodyguards... Oh, there's so many... There's so all, many the body, all the bodyguards of the Grand Master are in, like, Celestial outfits. But then you see Stan Lee's cameo, and that really makes me think, what if Galactus was a Celestial, and he's the leader of the Celestial? Because he's the only being that predates the Big Bang. And I don't know about the comics, but the MCU, the Infinity Stones were created by the Big Bang. So what if Galactus created the Infinity Stones? I, I'm I'm down for Galactus, but I just, I, I want to wait. Like, I, I, I'm down for him, like, like, when we were talking earlier yesterday. Have him in, like, show up for a scene or something, but don't focus too much on him. Maybe bring him back in the next movie, but, like, he's someone where you can you can literally have a phase or two leading up to Galactus, so I just, I wouldn't mind seeing him, but I don't know. But if the Celestials get involved in, like, in the graphic novel, he was in, like, he yeah. was there. So, like, I have nothing That's against him showing up. I just feel he's a, a threat that could potentially be bigger than Thanos. Same with, like, Kang the Conqueror. Like, I wouldn't mind seeing them. I just don't want to see them till at least the next part. But I, I'm down, I'm... I'm curious what the MCU would do with Galactus. Yes. Like, what Fox did was just... Yeah, we, super we cloud. We, we don't talk about that. <laughs> but uh, there's something small that I would like to see in the, in one of these movies, and I really don't think it's going to happen, but maybe it could happen inside the Soul Stone or something. But uh, I would like to see the Collector and the Grand Master have a reunion. They're, they're elders of the universe, and they're brothers. I just... 
I want to see these two have a conversation. I want to see them interact with one another because they're both really weird collectors in their own way. Like, he has this tournament of fighters that he's collecting and the collector just has... A bunch of random artifacts yeah, from like, the galaxy. I, I would love to see a reunion, but I, I have a feeling that one of the two might not even make it out of the first act of the movie, but I don't know. Like, you, you never... You don't know until you go see it. So... With that being said, uh, what else can we talk about, like, cosmic stuff, just while we're talking about the cosmic well, part of this, everything? Well, this could be cosmic, maybe. But in Captain America, the first Avenger, the Red Skull just kind of vanishes into the Tesseract, that of which Loki teleports through in the Avengers movie. So if Loki went through to Earth from the Shatari people or whatever, does that mean the Red Skull went to the Shatari and it, like... What happened to him? Is he still alive? Did he die because he was in space? Like I, I don't really care what I get. I just want confirmation of what the hell happened. To yeah, him. I think he either is with Thanos or I. I love the theory that he that he is, is Thanos because like he has the look. It could possibly maybe like be in I, space so long turn him purple instead of red. Like I'm down for that theory. And just, as he said, me and him, we both feel the same way about this. It's <clears> just that. We do want Thanos to be his own character. Is, but at the same time... It, it would take everything full circle. Oh, yeah, and it would make 110% that he was Red Skull, just with his obsession with taking over the world and having all the power. Like it, and, and then it having that much sense, power. But it would also make even more sense for Red Skull to team up with a, someone like Thanos to try and then steal it from Thanos. Like I, So, like, who knows what we're going to see? <clears throat> literally. And uh, something else that's kind of cosmic, nothing crazy, but, like, this is one of those things where I don't know if it'll happen in this movie or the next, but, uh, like, we were talking about it earlier that... Thanos creates this like floating palace in space for death and I I've always loved that in Infinity Gauntlet how he does it and he's like constantly changing it and trying to make it better like he's always trying to impress death and I want to see if that's like I want that to be in these movies at, at some point maybe that's too much to put in the first part maybe they want to kill off some characters and then yeah, they like, think I, I, uh, I don't know. they they'd be able to do that but they'd have to do that in the sec in Avengers 4 because he needs all the gems to do that. He needs all well, the stones to like, do that. Well, that's what I mean. Like, that's something I want to see out of these two movies, but it's, like, it happens fairly early in the graphic novel, but it, that being said, in the graphic novel, he has the gauntlet, like, fully assembled. So, I I just don't know if that would happen in the next movie or maybe this movie, the end of this movie. Maybe the movie will end and there'll be an end credit scene where you see him talking to Lady Death, or maybe that's when he creates the palace or something. I, I, I don't know. I just want to see something about it, and I might not even find out for another year. So. <laughs> it's, it, oh, I, who knows? Um, another cosmic thing I'd like to say, involving the one and only, the amazing Spider-Man. Um, I personally think, and this involves a certain film that's coming out in October, too. Which we'll be reviewing. I think we're all, we already know we're getting the Iron Spider, but I think that the MCU is going to go full ham and give give us that like you know that scene in the trailer in the first trailer where Thanos he takes Spider Man and he just smashes him down into the Chokes ground in and the like the rocks and... all underneath Spider Man are all cracked. I see the symbiote coming out in that. I picture the symbiote. It, it would be a good moment. And that, and like, I can see Spider-Man, he has the Iron Spider, and even that isn't helping him. But then the next thing you know, the goo gets on him, and then the next thing you know, Thanos just goes flying. And then all of a sudden, he gets up, and then a wide shot out from his eyes, and when it starts going out, the black is just going over his face. Like, uh, would you want to see the black going over the suit, or like Peter, though? You know what I mean? Because I, I personally would like to see it going over Peter, but from the movie standpoint, it would make more sense to be going over like a broken... The, the like Iron a, Spider. Like the yeah. Iron Spider just beat to hell, like broken. You can see electricity and like stuff coming out. And like, I'd like to see and, like, that. he's about I, to die, I, and then... I'd, lo I'd love the fact that we'd be able to see the black suit Iron Spider. Not and just the black suit Spider-Man. I'm down for this 100%, but I personally, like I've said, I don't... I see the symbiote coming maybe in the next movie, 
but the fact that Venom comes out this year and it's that's like, what's they're keeping saying me. it's not the same, but I think that's what's keeping me saying. Well, he the the symbiote has the, to be the on Spider Man. Tom Hardy as Venom for how many years? <clears throat> We finally got it, and you're gonna tell us it's not in the MCU. And you yeah, just got exactly. Spider-Man? Like I don't know about that. <laughs> but uh, what makes me think is that uh, the symbiote needs to be on Spider-Man first in order yeah. for Venom well, to that's, work. Well, that's that's something we both agree on. And 100%. this is the symbiote has to at least be on Spider-Man once, so it takes his DNA and memories and stuff. So that's so how like it even forms. even if we don't get the black suit Spider-Man, as you said, I think at the very least well, we're gonna if, see. Imagine if it got onto him and he was like, "Oh, what the hell?" and he just like switched. Yeah, it off, could be something still, like that too. It's still like stuck to him and somehow made its way back like, to Earth. Uh, yeah, uh, and then right there, crash. right there, if we see the symbiote in this movie, I know for a fact it's gonna it's gonna take everything in me to not stand. Yeah, because see, like, like I know how. The symbiote works right, and like Thanos could cut Black Suit Spider Man's arm off, just and throw this, his arm, Spider Man's arm could grow like, right like back. A lizard almost. But the thing that he could like throw the arm, and his arm could land on like some sort of spaceship or something, and it could go off. And maybe and that spaceship, the spaceship is the spaceship the that's the, yeah. yeah, and like there you go, all tied together. We get to see Black Suit Spider Man fight that. It Venom. has Peter's DNA, so it, it can look like Spider Man. Done, all, all complete. So, this next thing is probably my, it's my, I want to see this the most, but I've wanted to see this since, like, Thor Ragnarok. Like, this is something I wanted to see the most in Thor Ragnarok, because I thought for sure we were getting it, but we didn't. And from the looks of the trailer, it looks like we it, are it getting it. It literally this. looks like, like, I want to see the Hulk pulled from Bruce Banner, and I feel like if there's a way to do it, it would be with the Soul Stone, maybe, like, they're two different souls. I, I, I don't or know. Or Doctor, like, I can see, like, Doctor Strange doing something crazy. Yeah, like, maybe Doctor Strange is like, oh, we can just pull the big guy from you, and then Bruce being like, what? Like, what? And then they do it. Because, like, if you watch the trailers, it shows the Hulkbuster and Bruce working on the Hulkbuster. And then it shows the Hulkbuster in the big fight scene. Like, almost like looks like the start of the fight scene. But then you also see the Hulk running with, like, the rest of the Avengers in this big fight scene. So it's like, is Bruce Banner in the Hulkbuster or is the Hulk in the Hulkbuster? Why is the Hulk in the Hulkbuster? Because the Hulk doesn't, doesn't need, need the Hulkbuster. <laughs> like... It just, something's not adding up, and I'm thinking maybe this will be the time we get to see Bruce pulled from, or Hulk pulled from Bruce, whatever. I don't, whoever's whoever, I guess it would be Bruce would be there. Yeah. But uh, there's something else that I wanted to mention. This is something that happens in Infinity Gauntlet. But I feel like this is something they'd save for part two, but I really want to see it in this movie. Basically... Doctor Strange is putting to get together like the Avengers to go what are left after everyone vanished. He's putting together the the group to go and put the like the final assault on Thanos and Infinity Gauntlet and he's like opening up portals in different eras and diff just different time zones everywhere all over the world. Like Wolverine's coming through, Hulk's coming through, Spider-Man's coming through. I want to see that in this movie at some point, and it would be the perfect opportunity to bring like Hugh Jackman and like just and just, give him the suit. Just bring Hugh Jackman and no one else. All I want is Hugh Jackman. Patrick Stewart would be awesome, but just give me Hugh Jackman. And then we'll I don't be want, happy. I don't want to see fucking Sansa from Game of Thrones. I I want to see Hugh Jackman and only Hugh Jackman. And speak, like, speaking of that mm. snapping of the fingers and, like, blowing half the universe away, that's another thing, too. I say that could be the perfect way to not get all the Defenders, well, well, but get Daredevil in this movie. That could be how the movie ends. Maybe he snaps his fingers and half the universe disappears, and then he does that smile that we got in the trailer. Like, maybe that's how the friggin' movie ends. Because, like, I'm, I am I can't wait to see this whole movie. Like, like we're every, five days away. And, yeah, but, like, I could, I could see it. Like, I could see Daredevil coming in and just being like, <clears throat> yeah, like, my crew disappeared. And it seems like a lot because of your guys' crew's gone, too. The, like, the Defenders and all those people from the Netflix crew, like, the only one worth putting in is the Daredevil. Avengers is Daredevil. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't want to see that Luke Cage guy. <laughs> I could see it, though. I could see Daredevil and, like, Spider-Man <clears throat> taking out a bunch of goons in the city or whatever. 
one See, of them that would be awesome yeah one of them that. is just about to get killed by one of the aliens and then the next thing you know boom head just kind of like just headshot to the alien and then daredevil just looks up and smiles and it zooms right into a building a punisher punisher and that's okay. all you need of him just a tiny he doesn't even have to say anything like, just, and have it be the same guy from the netflix series yeah john barenthal yeah, yeah. Like, it could connect everything. And the thing, I think that we might get the Fantastic Four now, and Galactus and the X-Men. Do, do you think that he'll have all the stones, like, at the end of I the I think movie? that's how the first movie's going to end. Like, he's going to get put the last stone in. That's like, why I think... The cover of Infinity Gauntlet or something. Um, yeah, but I think that <clears throat> they're going to try and get all those OG classic Marvel characters in this. Because I do feel as though they they are gonna try to do this specifically for, for Stanley. Stan the man. Like even if like we were saying right before the video, like maybe Kevin Feige had it everything set all in set for the for Fantastic Four, Doctor Doom, and like some Celestials that are kind of owned by that properties. But I feel like the X Men is almost like. Because, like, they did those small deals for Ego and Negasonic Teenage Warhead or whatever. Like, and they, something small like that. I feel like it was something similar. Like, you can use... We'll let you use Cable and Deadpool if you let us You take the Fantastic Four back. And Fox is probably like, take it. <laughs> like, after their last couple of Fantastic So, Fours honest to God, in five days from now, we're gonna <laughs> know what's up. We'll probably make a vlog... We, we'll, we'll for sure be doing we'll that. We'll make a vlog and uh, maybe even post like a video of us at the theater, like getting ready. Like a, there'll be videos posted that day. On top of, we're we're thinking of doing like a spoiler-free review and then a spoiler-heavy we'll review. To. And we're we thought about it. And we're probably gonna have to do the spoiler-heavy review first, as far as recording goes, and then do the review to get our thoughts. So out we first. don't spoil anything because I don't want to spoil this movie on anyone, but I want our stuff to be out there. So. Yeah, but with that being said, guys, we're going to end the video there. The camera is pretty well all out of space. But we will see you guys in five friggin' days. Oh, Thanos is going to be here. Destiny still arrives. <laughs> Take her easy, guys.